And uh, so as a result, um, actually, I was on Mitch Album's show about a year ago. We were talking a little bit about uh -oh. how that was there. Oh, there we go. That's that diesel power. Yeah. So, but um, anyway, we uh, there's a gentleman uh, that has a TV show, Wayne Carini. And Wayne, Wayne has a show on Velocity called Chasing Classic, Classic Cars. So uh, Haggerty Insurance, which is a big insurance provider for collector cars, asked Wayne and I to do a uh, thing at the uh, Henry Ford uh, Museum first to teach young kids how to deal and how to drive manual shift cars. And so we went to several locations around the country and spent time with 16-year-olds teaching them how to do manual shift cars. Of course, we also taught them where the dipstick was, where right. the spare tire was, how to check the oil, things that you know we've just all gotten past these days. Um, biggest thing I took away from that is I got to be very, very good friends with Wayne, and he's just like the most regular guy you'd ever want to meet, which is always fun to be with car guys that are like that. Uh, but, you know, it, it's true. I mean, there's just very, very few manual cars these days. Well, and, you know what uh, we should do here real quick is we should probably get you to tell us who you are again for those folks that have just joined us Yeah, online. well, I am the probably the ultimate car guy. There are some people think I need psychiatric help, but... Uh, <laughs> My name is Ken Lingenfelder, and I own Lingenfelder Performance Engineering and, and the Lingenfelder Collection, where we do uh, charity fundraisers out at our car collection in Brighton. So, And uh, we are building race cars, supercharging General Motors products every day of the week for our business and, and having a whole bunch of fun doing it. So works out good. Now, this is the kind this of noise I want to hear. That's what we you know? hear. And I want to see that 572 under the SS. Yeah. That's some serious power. Let's get so. him to uh, give us a little. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You want to rev that motor for channel seven? Yeah, yeah, very cool. There we go. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's some serious horsepower. That's. that's that's some serious. Well, that's pretty dirty. Well, I don't know if you can see out the left side. The rain is indeed going to hold up. It's going to be perfect. Hey guys, how are you? An XR7 Cougar. Cougars are so cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Oh my gosh, look at this Camaro. Look Johnny, can top. you get this Camaro here? Creative wraps. How about that? It's almost like chrome and blue. Is. Amazing. That's beautiful. Now there's a. Dodge, or Plymouth. That's an old Plymouth, yeah, that's built for the drags. It's got the hood off on the top. That's real old school. That's the kind of stuff I used to see out here in the 70s. There you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, they, uh, those cars were very, very popular. You know, back in the day, I was a teenager uh, in the late 60s and early 70s, and mm -hmm. that's when the Mopars and the Fords and the Chevy's were out dragging at Detroit Drag right Strip. Here. Yep, I exactly right here. I, I have to admit, I put a lot of rubber down on this road uh -huh. over the years, and uh, this, and also Telegraph Road. Uh, actually, you know, I got uh, expelled from my high school for drag racing right out in front of the school, which you know we kind of <laughs> did some stupid things back in the day, but well, you know, it's, uh, it's made you worry what you are today. So when you're a hot rodder, you just can't help yourself sometimes, and. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I'm glad there isn't much of that these days because I've got kids now that are out there, and that's that's kind of scary. But look at this old county. Now, this Johnny, is a car my dad actually worked on. It's an Johnny, can you get this Cadillac here? That's got to be like a 47. I'm guessing it's a 47. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm looking for the, sure. The white says yep, 47. There you, okay, see, I'm now I, I was thrown know, off by the 43. Yeah, well, and it, it, it could have been a 43. You know, they stopped building cars with a war. Yes, they all look the same. And they started back up right away after the war quit so this pretty much looks like they did in the early 40s so cut yourself some slack there that was yeah, uh, that's absolutely. an easy mistake to make but that is just gorgeous good shape I found convertible a whole, found a whole series of boxes when we moved my father out of his house that uh, are all the old shop manuals that's what he used to do is write shop manuals for Cadillac and then uh, he went to Ford working on the Edsel and that's what he used to do I've got boxes and boxes of original shop manuals I don't know what to do. Probably well, something. So, you know, there might be somebody. Bat, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Uh, okay, so that's a 10-cylinder. Yeah, yep. You can tell by the noise. 
You know, really, that uh, that Audi R8 is pretty much the same thing as a Lamborghini Gallardo or now the uh, Yurkan. Um, Audi owns all of Volkswagen and Lamborghini, and uh, Volkswagen is the biggest car company in the world right now. And this is one of their products, and it's pretty amazing. They're all-wheel drive, uh, Audi, you know. Sure. So Maybe you can rev but, that for us a little bit, too. Hey, buddy, want to rev that for Channel 7? Can you do that for us? Excellent. Very cool. Thanks. Those are amazing. Well, let's get up to this Cadillac we saw yeah. earlier here. Let's just tell them how Hey, I gotta tell we are. you, this is beautiful. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hey, how about that? Very cool. Is it a 47? All right. We were right. Very good. License plate gives it away. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Have fun.